On October 25th, 22 students from Winston Churchill Secondary School participated in a workshop focusing on the public realm elements along the Canby Corridor. Leading up to the session, youth were provided with information about the planning process and asked to explore their neighborhood, photographing their experiences of streets, lanes, and parks. These photographs were used to engage youth in dialogue about problems and successes of the corridor and how the space could be improved. Following the workshop, five youth participants and two youth mentors were involved in the creation of a video documenting the process and providing a youth voice in the Canby Corridor Plan. It's very green, it's very uh, calm place, nice to walk by. Um, it's very eco-friendly, eco right? And it's a great transport overall because of the SkyTrain. But then there's like tons of problems because like there's not enough attractions and then most people are kind of cornered into 41st and um, Canby. We went out, we looked around for um, problems on Canby Street, um, successes on Canby Street, see what was good, what was not. When we came today at the workshop, we started talking about the different ideas to improve those problems and the good things that we can expand that obviously would help improve those problems. What would you like to see on Canby? There's not a lot of like attractions or like things to see, it's just Canby. Bored? Bored? <laughs> Well, that's just you. There's like a shelf of cars. That's part of attraction, but you still want something to do. Like as we look at it, we just don't want to like stand there and look at it and be like, oh, that's nice. Right. And just leave. Okay. So you want more um, like abstract art makes you like think. Okay. <laughs> so like you're actually doing something. Maybe like a big tic tac toe board. Oh. <laughs> we got a lot of opportunities to increase like attractions to make it more lively. We can put shops or um, put more parks, attractions, and make it more fun for people to spread out. You can see when you walk into the park, like it's a pretty wide area, and it's it slopes down as the park moves down south and so it's a really empty area so maybe as an opportunity they could put like a track track and field kind of thing. What a problem is there is that it's not really open to the public so the public won't be allowed to use the park unless they have a permit. Our second picture is at uh, the park on Ash and 54th so it's like down the street. There are not a lot of like garbage cans at parks like there might be one but it's really far away from you, so you get lazy and just throw your stuff on the ground. So that's something that we should change. We want more lights so people will feel more safe and they can bring their kids. More organized events to get the youth more involved with parks. Our hopes for parks is that more people will go, more people from every age, and that we had like a vision of like little kids playing with balls and like old people like hugging because cute old, <laughs> old couples are always really cute. Speed bumps would probably be helpful, so make sure the cars don't go really fast to the, to the lane. For safety, we wanted more lighting in our um, alleyways, space for cars to pass by and for you to be able to walk by instead of having to wait for a car to pass by. We also don't like garbage in our alleyways. Can be overall is that it's like something that people go through and not go to, so we want to make it a destination and not um, a place where people just get to Richmond, to downtown, or downtown to Richmond. Maybe a lot more activity, like seeing more people walking on the sidewalks, um, having fun, smiling, <laughs> hanging out. I learned that I could pay more attention to this stuff. Like before I didn't really pay attention to this kind of stuff, I would just kind of go along with it. Now, especially through this, I was able to put in some of my thoughts. Hoping to see our ideas put into candy and making it livelier and more of somewhere some people would want to go to rather than just driving past it. At first I never really knew that people discussed about helping to change the community for the better. I always thought it was 
one person that would think of these ideas and just change it. I thought it was a lot of fun because you get to express what you think and give your ideas because you drive down there every day but you don't really think about it but this makes you think about it. The workshop was fun, it was interesting, it got everyone pretty much thinking about the stuff that can be improved along Canby Corridor area and along probably a lot of other areas as well.